Hey, how's it going guys? Lonerker here. In my previous video, some guys asked me about my UI and different add-ons, and a lot of people have asked me the same questions before that. So, I figured I might just put out a video on it displaying the important ones. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so I just created a new character, and this is what uh, Louis looks like with its default setting. Uh, you can see it's a bit different from the one I've tweaked. Uh, coloring, for example, is based on whatever class you're playing. So, this is a warlock, so the color is purple, like you can see. Uh, you get two rows of action bars down here, as well as the additional side panel over here that you can minimize or extend if needed. Uh, raid frames are down here by default and your damage healing meter next to it. Uh, you also see some additional artwork up here with interactive buttons to hide or show whatever functions you need or don't need. Basically the default profile is good by itself but should you wish to customize it to your own needs or wishes you have a ton of options to do just that. So this is the one I tweaked to my own liking. Uh, you can see I've gotten rid of the artwork in the top middle since I never really used its functions and I like my UI clean. Uh, I moved my character and target frames a bit and added portraits to them. The raid frames has been replaced with the details window and I've added one more side panel over here. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same, apart from different fonts, called color scheme and scale. For raid frames, I use the default one, since it pretty much gives me what I need, and it's pretty straightforward. I don't heal or tank much, so no real need for me to use a convoluted one. Uh, whenever I'm in a 5-man group, uh, Louis displays that itself, as you can see here. Louis also comes with its own options interface, where you can basically change everything about this uh, UI package. Uh, you have your general tab, where you basically have general info, thanks to all these people. Um, uh, color schemes, all your frames, every integrated add-on basically in here. Profile system, where you can copy over a profile you already set up. Uh, you have your artwork, which is basically the ones I previously mentioned up here that I've deactivated. Uh, you have your auras, that would be your buffs. You can change around bags. You have your bars, which is pretty much... Uh, well, I actually disable most of these. Uh, let's see if I can uh, illustrate something here. No. Um, should be about, yeah, it's, you can't really see it. Yeah, here we go. So, right bar here, for example, that would be this side panel here. Basically, you can change all these if you want. You can add one over here if you want. Uh, you can change your chat settings, like fonts, size, outline, edit box, uh, info text, that would be the stuff up here. So, friends, if you have any, you can disable that if you don't have any friends. You don't have to get reminded that you don't have any friends. Uh, other than that, it's basically all the info text up here. You can you can move or add or change to whatever you're liking. So it goes with the minimap, threat, experience bar. I think the threat experience bar, yeah, that's something you can use if you're not level capped. You will get a little bar down here. Uh, also, I think I used this when we had um, the asteroid system back in Battle for Azeroth. Uh, that, that would make a bar down here that I could see the progress on my my legendary neck. Was it artifact? I can't remember. I'm trying to forget. Uh, other than that, you have your uniframes, and there's a 
panel settings in here. Uh, basically, you can change you can change whatever you want. Um, so uniframe player, that's me. I can go to auras. Just to illustrate, we go to portrait. So basically, I can turn off my ugly face if I don't want to watch that. You can uh, move it around if you want. I can illustrate it here. You can basically do this for any frame around here. Uh, just put them where you like to your own liking. Uh, other than that, it's uh, pretty much just uh, getting to know the entire option settings. Take around with it, see what you get. There's also some uh, other add-ons that are integrated into the Louis package. Uh, like for example, my action bars. That's purely bartender. So if you want to change something with this, uh, you don't really change them through Louis or I don't. I just think to change them through the bartender itself. And this is Louis. Uh, no, sorry, this is details. Um, when I downloaded Louis way back in Wrath of the Lich King or Cataclysm, this was default recount and recall recount was integrated into the Louis package in itself. Uh, and I guess maybe it still does. I'm not really sure. Um, well, uh, yeah, anyway, basically, I think everybody uses details nowadays, and uh, there's probably a way of activating it. I don't really know, but that's basically the whole shabazz when it comes to what this looks like. So other than that, it's you see these uh, small artworks around these buffs and as well as my buttons. That's basically a separate add-on that makes that artwork, which is called the mask. Mask A. Um, this thing. Uh, other than that, I don't really think there's much that uh, makes my UI look different. Just. If we're talking about pure aesthetics, I think I've covered most of it. Nope, that's a lie. We haven't covered it. Uh, one of the things that makes it an aesthetic is the nameplate SCT, which is nameplate scrolling combat text. That's what makes... Hang on, I can actually show this real quick because I don't really have the... Well, I don't have the default uh, the blizzard combat text, which is kind of boring. Uh, scrolling combat text actually basically does this. Uh, all these small little lumbers flying away, floating over. Uh, it, it doesn't really do all that much, just I think it looks a bit nicer. Uh, has its own little touch, signature, look, feel, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, just a separate add-on for the combat text in itself. Not much to say here. Um, it's uh, it's got its own little options that follows with it. You can dick around with these settings. You can blow up the numbers. You can uh, change the uh, how the numbers move around by themselves, the, the animations of it, um, yeah, you can very, pretty much change whatever you Um, other than that, that's, there's not really much I have in terms of add-ons other than that, um, Aspect of Hunter is, like I said, it's a Hunter exclusive uh, add-on, gives you some help when you're hunting rare pets or whatever have you, better wardrobe gives you some more uh, options with transmogs. Uh, handy notes, it's a GPS uh, essentially. Uh, Leatrix is a nice add on. It automates a lot of your questing. Um, it can do other crap as well that I don't really remember at the moment. Uh, mask A, mask, we talked about. 
move anything is a nice one because uh, you can. <laughs> well, it's like I said, you can basically move anything. Uh, take for example, when you're doing world quests, you get that little um, character panel up from the guy you're talking to. That usually appears right down here somewhere. You can basically just move that wherever you want. Uh, we talked about Plater is the well. This is a professional nameplate add-on. Like I said, see, it's um, it displays the health bars on everything you're fighting, and buffs. It's it's just a huge add-on with a ton of options. Uh, basically. I think this is what most people who are serious about the game is using. Um, I also use it because it's really nice, looks good, gives you everything you need. Um, takes some getting used to though, but if you get manage to get used to Plater, uh, I definitely recommend you use this. Uh, Pratt is basically just a little tiny add-on to your chat bars. Or chat window, sorry. Uh, Raider.io, we all know. TomTom, uh, Tom, also GPS system. So, yeah, I think that pretty much sums up the add ons that make up the visuals in the UI. It's a super looking UI with tons of options and different kinds of utilities. The only thing I would hold against it really is that it's a heavyweight when it comes to memory usage. Uh, at the top of my head, I can't really recall how it compares to, for example, LBUI in that department. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's tougher to drag along. So, if your computer is a potato, you might reconsider giving this a try. I've actually on numerous occasions tried to transition over to LBUI or any other form of UI, since I like to change things up a bit now and then, but uh, I, I just can't do it, man. I've used Louis since Wrath or Cataclysm, I'm a bit fussy on that. And I've, I've just gotten too used to it. Uh, I'm like an old man, <laughs> I'm scared shitless of changes. But uh, like I said, Louis is a cool UI package if you're looking to spice up your window into the game. It's got a great Discord community that will help you out with just about anything you need, and it gets updated on a regular basis. Uh, 1010 would recommend for all farts like me. So that's pretty much what I have for you guys. Uh, Add-ons are a big craze in this game, and modifying the UI is no different for a lot of us. Uh, I'll put down some links in the description so you can more easily find a couple of these add-ons as well as the Discord community for Louis. Um, I don't really have an idea for my next video since I'm pretty much alternating between videos here and my guild. Uh, but if you have any suggestions, I'm open for anything. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun putting this together, so definitely keep an eye out for more. So, yep. Yeah. Nothing more to say then, see you around then, take care.